5 seconds to go start what is interesting to note is that the honorable finance minister refers to the wpi or the wholesale price index as a reliable stable more indicative price index than the consumer price index unfortunately the people of india do not buy in wholesale they buy in retail retail not once over but retail many times over when one talks of the poor but the time a product an essential commodity reaches the poor man it reaches him passing many middlemen's hands the prices have reached literally the roof i do not know whether it can go any higher we were told when the government came when the honorable finance minister was new for all of us when the dollar was fixed at rupees 32 that this is necessary for the purpose of handling the balance of payment situation i am sure the finance minister would agree with me for the last 4 years we have actually spent a lot of money buying dollars in the market through the reserve bank of india to ensure that the level of dollar at rupees 32 per dollar is maintained a substantial infusion of funds has taken place the misfortune is that the figures are not available with me i will be obliged mr chairman if i can make a request through you to the finance minister to give us the figures on how many thousands of crores of rupees have been spent in the last 4 years to ensure that the rupee dollar rate stood at rupees 32 i would like to know that i would also like to know how many million dollars have been sold off those billions bought in the last 4 years to somehow manage to keep between rupees 32 and rupees 35 the rupee dollar rate it is obvious that when money is pumped into a market whatever be the reason it will add to inflation it will not reduce or contain inflation it is a very common theory the more the money that is available the less the products that are available naturally the prices will increase and inflation will be there i would like to have specific figures and i am sure the house would like to know by this one act of buying dollars and pumping money in rupees into the indian market how much has been the contribution to the price increase in terms of cpi the consumer price index and note in terms of the wpi the wpi can be quite indicative maybe for macro economics mr deputy speaker sir i am proud of the clean image of the finance ministry the economy of counter was quite weak when this government came to power but at present the rate of inflation has increased the government should accept its failure in view of the increase in price index i should seek minister's reply as this question with reference to shri v s rao's statement i would like to mention that 
now the cost of power generation has been reduced under the enron project and rupees 1000 crores profit has been proposed therefrom i would like to know as to why sugar was not bought at the time when its price was 450 dollar per ton in the international market and the country was facing the shortage later on though we had the stock of sugar but sugar was bought because its price was high was there any conspiracy behind the deal was it a part of any plan to recover the election expenditure i would like to know from the government as to why sugar was not bought at the time when price was low why it was imported at a higher price i would also like to say something about another scandal which is bigger than bofors a party was awarded the contract to supply urea at a rate of 202 dollar per ton but it has not supplied 1 lakh 60000 tons of urea then the chairman of mmtc placed another order to supply urea at a rate of 246 dollars per ton more than rupees 3000 crore were involved in this scam which is a bigger amount than that of bofors it directly related to the economic policy will the economy of the country not be affected by a loss of rupees 5000 crore harshad mehta has also made an embezzlement of rupees 5000 crore where this money has gone the honorable finance minister should tell where that money has gone and where it is going today the plight of poor people is deteriorating day by day 40% population of the country is not getting anything for whom these leaders are running the government textile mills are also facing severe problems they are incurring losses the whole public sector is incurring losses because officers are involved in corruption directly i do not want to repeat the issue raised here earlier i seek clarification from the honorable finance minister about mmtc stock